asset class, the asset class coverage used by the buy side has changed dramatically over the last few years. A nice example of this is in the US, where the uh, notional value of the equity market has increased twofold over the last 10 years. The main driver behind this increase is actually derivatives and the use of those derivatives. Uh, the derivatives being used are used within the asset allocation process uh, because they're more cost efficient and they're more convenient to use rather than going into a trading scenario where I have a hundred different names that I need to move it's a lot easier for me to move an index future for example. Asset class trading has changed dramatically in the last few years. There's a number of reasons. One, as we mentioned before, the increased volume. And secondly, the changing uh, regulations. Uh, with the Dodd-Frank Act and with EMEA coming out, we've really moved heavily uh, towards a more transparent market, which is forcing people onto a more electronic exchange. Uh, in the fixed income world, we've seen this with MTFs. And very recently, in the last just few months, we've seen this on the swap side for interest rate swaps and for uh, credit default swaps moving on to SETS. A multi-asset trading desk must follow these trends. Um, there are some key elements that have to be followed as well. There's communication, coordination, and those two things are very heavy across the traders. Uh, the communication across uh, uh, multi-assets is important. So if I'm an equity trader, it's still important for me to know that a particular sovereign, uh, sovereign bond is under distress at this moment in time. It does affect the way I do business. Also, with the increased use of multiple assets, what it allows uh, the portfolio managers to do is they will restructure their portfolios either by a transition or via an asset allocation and therefore generate lots of orders in different ways. These orders can quite often be contingent or based on their previous orders sent. Without a true multi-asset trading desk, it's very difficult for those, to, for those orders to get out to market and be executed in the way desired by the portfolio manager and client. With inline data, we've had to change our order management system quite considerably to cater for a multiple asset trading desk. Along with just opening up the connections to the outside world and to the brokers, we've also had to ensure that we have consistent functionality, not just for the calculations involved in multiple assets, but in the different workflows and the different views of people across the business. A fixed income manager views the world in a very different way to an equity manager and even the associated derivatives under, underlying those. It's important that from an order management perspective, we're agile enough to meet the needs of all those different users and all their different viewpoints of the market. It's a challenge, but something that we're meeting, and we're meeting that with technology and also interaction with our clients.